Uh, thank you for being here again. So we are in the module of regular income tax. Okay, so I hope you are enjoying all the lessons and CPA Dreams Online Review School. So today and going forward, I will start discussing regular income tax. Okay, so actually what you have learned in the past modules are all applicable. Okay, so if you haven't done so, please go back and check all the lessons or the summary notes. Okay, so what are the characteristics of regular income tax? So general in coverage, a net income tax, an annual tax, creditable withholding tax, progressive or professional tax. So I will not go dig deeper with each characteristics because some of it we already discussed in the principles of income taxation. Okay, now uh, let's move on the regular income tax model. Okay, so of course we need to calculate the taxable income. So these are uh, different composition or terms that are used but the ending will always be the same the taxable income or the taxable net income okay so the regular income tax model is gross income less allowable deductions then you will get the taxable income okay now let's do it in terms of pure compensation income earner okay so if you are an employee of course this is how they calculate it your gross compensation income or your salary for that month then less non-taxable compensation income you will get a taxable compensation income in the non-taxable compensation this is the allowed deductions which is SSS, Pag-ibig, Pill Health etc. For pure business or professional income earner okay you have gross income from business or profession then add non-operating income you will get total gross income, less allowable deductions, then you will have the taxable net income. Here, I mentioned the non-operating income because there might be other income that is uh, not part of the gross income from business. So that could be your passive income, which is subject to regular income tax. Now, uh, always remember, okay what if the taxpayer have mixed income so it could be you are working full-time as an employee and then you are also doing business okay or rendering services through a profession then you are called mixed income earner okay from both sources and it is simply globalized or totaled okay you need to get a, to a total of it but Always remember a, neg a negative net income or loss when deductions exceed gross income from business or profession shall not be offset against taxable compensation income. Because deductions, okay, kasi na-deduct mo na ang expenses mo dun sa business mo or profession and already properly deductible only against the gross income whereas no expense is deductible against taxable compensation income okay hindi mo na siya pwedeng ilis sa compensation income mo now gross income consists of major topics actually you have here the exclusions of the gross income and inclusions of gross income. Ano ba yung mga kasama sa exclusion? What are the list of income exempt to regular income tax? And ano ba yung mga included? List of income subject to regular income tax. And there are also special topics which covers income that are either excluded or included depending on certain circumstances like what we have discussed dealings in properties and in future discussion we have fringe benefits okay uh, just to give you a note on personal exemption okay before previously the law provides personal exemption of income of individual taxpayers ito yung amount 
ng personal ex exemption depends on the number of uh, dependents that they are supporting. So, this personal exemption is in lieu of the personal living and family expenses of the individual taxpayer. Okay, but this personal ex exemption is repealed by the train law, effective January 1, 2018. Okay, para mas simplify na ang tax system. Paano nila sinimplify? It simply means that if you are earning at around 250,000, you are already exempt. Okay? Yun kagad yung uh, level ng exemption na meron ka. So, that means 250,000 annual income of the individual income taxpayer from regular income tax will be exempted. Right? Embedded in the income tax table for individual taxpayer. As such, there is no need to separate or deduct the personal exemption. Okay? Kaya makikita mo sa income tax table, 250,000 kagad is exempted. Okay? So, those that are earning below 250,000 or 250,000 will be exempted in paying uh, income tax. Okay? So, now, I would like also to discuss the classification of income on individual taxpayers. Okay, as we have discussed already in the regular income tax model, you have compensation income and business or professional income. Simply lang naman yan. Okay, so yung, yung compensation income is employer-employee relationship and then business or professional income is through arises from selling of goods or trading or rendering of services or profession. Let's go to the next uh, discussion about the corporate income taxpayer. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this video lesson. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button.